What is not understood is that Dizzy didn't do it like the Africans. He was playing an old interview he did with Dizzy. And Dizzy was telling him, like, he was doing this. And he said, he said most of the musicians understand the three, four, and, and four, four, and, and six, eight. He said, but the five is another thing altogether. So what the hell is he talking about? When I heard that, I didn't, I didn't understand what he meant. And so there was a period of a couple of years before that where Dizzy asked me to write a chart on a tune that he wrote. I think it was called Free Limo. It was in five. But do be did and did did and but do be did and did did and but do be did and did did and but do be. When I wrote the chart, I wrote a counter rhythm and went like this: bang, 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 dum, bang, 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 dum, bang, 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 dum, in five. And so I have a big band in New York. We, I wrote this chart based on that counter rhythm. And so when the band got booked at Birdland, we were playing this piece, man, and everybody at the bar got up and started dancing. They're dancing in 5-4 and didn't know they were in 5. Because that rhythm, listen. Uh, the other thing is, I often ask students when I write those little dots on the board, what do you call those things? Guess what everybody says? Notes. I say, no, if you'd have said sounds, you would have been into something. And so when you're doing something like this five, you don't want to think in terms of one and two and three, or one, two, three, four, five. You want to be thinking of bang, a dig a dig bang, do bang, a dig a dig bang. Those sounds, because timbre is a part of rhythm. Years ago, Dizzy wrote this uh, piece called He Beat Where He Should Have Bopped. It's basically uh, people playing a, uh, uh, a bop where it should have been a beef. <laughs> And so you have to think, bang, bang, ga dee ga dee ga bang, bang, ga dee ga dee. Now here's my counter rhythm. Bang, 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 bang. There's a swing in a whole different tempo. What you saw my foot doing is what the people at the bar were dancing to. It's not, it's the five is contained within that beat, but it's another whole beat. Bang, 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 bang. Every two bars, the one will come back around. But you can feel that as a swing to it. That's what people were dancing to. So now, Dizzy, I started to understand what he meant by that five. Now, Billy Taylor, when Dizzy passed away, did a 14-hour radio broadcast called Dizzy's Diamond on, on public radio. What he did was he chronologically played all of Dizzy's recordings from the beginning to the end. And so those of us that are still around that played with him during a certain period, Billy would interview during the, while he was playing those recordings. And so at one point he was talking to Diz, and he was asking Diz about the cymbal beat. So Dizzy sang chip a ching, chip a ching, chip a ching, chip. Now the old drummers like Joe Jones and that, their cymbal beat was something like ka-chow, chick, ka-chow, chick, ka-chow, chick. That's a different beat. Those drummers were more or less timekeepers. The bebop drummers were part of the melody flow. They were like contrapuntally involved in the music. So like, for, for example, if you say ka-chow, chick, and you got Freddie Green saying chung, 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 you cannot sing a tune like Confirmation. It's not gonna go with that. It'd be bump, bump in the wrong way. And so the bebop cymbal beat, chip ba ching chip ba ching chip ba ching ka doom bang ka doom bang basically it starts on the fourth beat, but I was showing a student uh, one day how to play this five. One, one, four, five, one. Bat, bat, da, bat, bat, da, bat. I said, oh my God, there comes that cymbal beat. And so I understood what he meant by the five was another. And so that bebop cymbal beat came from the inclusion of five, four into the rhythmic flow that wasn't really there before. Now what that opens up is this thing. Four, five, one. That behavior. And this too. Right back to the original. So this is related. Look. Three, four. Right back. So all that be there's even a rubato in there that's related to that one beat. And so uh, 
that five now. So the way you think of that five is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, back to back, the big, the big, back to bang. And you should hear that accent. And that timbre would be back to boom, back to boom, get dig it, dig it, back to boom, get dig it, dig it, back to boom, get dig it, dig it, back to boom, get dig it. Using triplets here because it's too much trouble to write it in 12 a time. But back at the 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 the And so that's a way to get to the, if you want to call it, I don't know, they, the critics named it Bebop. Dizzy said he, they, that's not what he called it. He was, they'd hear him singing, she'll the Bebop, and they start calling it Bebop. But the bebop cymbal beat is based on this, this five. That five is the first place where an accent comes on uh, that third note in the 6-8. I'm going to explain that to you in a minute. But that, that's how you get to the bebop cymbal beat. Now, I told you before to remember that pile of things we wrote. Because what this opens up is a thing that says ba u ba da u ba da u ba da u ba da u. That opens up this type of thing. That comes from that five four symbol be ba u ba u ba u ba u ba u ba Now it's not the same way that the Basie band or those kind of the older jazz is not playing this kind of accentuation. Now what this basically is is another six eight that started right here. And so what when Dizzy said the five is another thing altogether, he was talking about something you might want to refer to as permutations. <laughs> 